Tonight, the world is mourning the death of Queen Elizabeth II. After 70 years on the throne, the British monarch passed away at her estate in Scotland today. Let's go ahead and take a live look from Buckingham Palace. It's early Friday morning there right now. A much quieter scene compared to just hours ago when crowds gathered to pay respects to Britain's longest reigning monarch. The entire United Kingdom is now in a 10-day state of mourning as funeral arrangements are being made. A funeral will likely happen in the next 10 days. Tonight, tributes are pouring in for Queen Elizabeth. President Biden was the last of 14 U.S. presidents to meet with the British monarch. Today, he visited the British Embassy and expressed his condolences. Earlier tonight, he spoke about his relationship with the Queen. I had the opportunity to meet her before she passed, and she was an incredibly gracious and decent woman. And the thoughts and prayers of the American people are with the people of the United Kingdom and the Commonwealth in their grief. Former Presidents Carter, Clinton, Bush, Obama and Trump also paid tribute to the Queen, noting their private moments of warmth, humor and charm. Queen Elizabeth's grace and impact reached across the pond and touched the lives of many Americans. Five on your side's Laura Bracheski shows us how the Queen is being remembered right here in St. Louis. For more than 70 years, Queen Elizabeth II touched lives around the world. She would have been a pretty incredible lady to sit down and have a cup of tea with. She's been a, a pillar of stability. And right here in St. Louis at the London Tea Room, Jackie James says she was the only monarch her family knew. She's been queen for so long, my whole lifetime, that I just couldn't even imagine the time coming that we would lose her. James says Queen Elizabeth served the country with unforgettable grace. Even when terrible things happened and when it was really difficult, she just um, had so much grace in it all. That grace and stability is what Washington University professor Mark Taylor says he saw firsthand when he met the Queen while teaching at Oxford University. She came to my, my group and we, we had a conversation and I spoke to her for what felt like about a year, but probably about two minutes. While James says she never met the Queen, she says she was a fantastic example to her as a young girl. When I was with the girl guides um, or girl scouts. Uh, and I remember, um, you know, how we commemorated her and we had the, the keepsake mug, and, which I still have to this day. Taylor says he hopes in honor of Queen Elizabeth, people will take a little bit of her kindness and work together rather than against each other. The Queen was able to really rise above that change and be a, be a, a force for constancy, a force for, a force for kindness in the world. And I think going forward, we need to sort of think about and reflect on that. I think that history will go down and show Queen Elizabeth II to be one of the greatest rulers of all time. St. Louisans are sending their love to the royal family through a condolence book that's available for signatures from 10 to 5 all weekend at the London Tea Room. Reporting in St. Louis, Laura Barczewski, 5 on your side.